there's a new spiked seltzer in town. It's called H2 Rhodes. It's a craft hard seltzer. How does it stack up with the rest? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another booze review. And this one is called H2 Rhodes. H2 Rhodes. It's a craft hard seltzer. You know, they have to come up with a, a, a different name for every single seltzer so it stands out um, in the crowd of seltzers now. There's like so many millions of seltzers now. It's sort of like the craft beer market now. There's like eight, so many different <laughs> brands and flavors. It's, it's beyond. That's why I don't drink craft beer because I never felt good drinking craft beer. A good uh, Corona with a lemon in it or a Guinness was, was my beer of the day. The craft beers are just too busy, <clears throat> in my opinion. Too many ingredients and yeah, I never liked it. But anyway, Two Roads uh, Brewery is a uh, local, a regional uh, brewing company out in uh, Stanford, not Stanford, uh, Stratford, Connecticut. That's the poor man Stanford, I guess. <clears throat> And uh, they came up, uh, they decided to enter the, the uh, seltzer market with this H2 Rhodes. That's, that's their kind of uh, little play. They love having a little play on words in their product names. Um, I'm not going to go into them, but if you look at their craft beer selection, there's like many that have, you know, play on their company name, which is Two Rhodes. Um, and this uh, seltzer here, the reason I picked it up is because I, I'm, you know, I'm looking to try out different seltzers that are in the low carb segment. And low carb to me is as close to zero as possible. I like my Smirnoff spiked sparkling seltzers because they're only one gram of carbs. And I don't know if it's 1.48 grams of carbs per can or, or what, because uh, they have a weird way of rounding the carb numbers. Uh, in the, in the food industry. That's why that uh, Crook and Marker seltzer I reviewed a few weeks ago or months ago, um, they lowered the, the ounces of their cans down to 11 and a half so they can say it's zero grams because it's probably 0 0.4 something grams because if they went up to 12 ounces it would be over half a gram of carbs and then they, they couldn't say it's zero carbs. They have to say it's one one gram of carbs. But anyway, so I tried this uh, H2 Rhodes and I got the raspberry version because there was a, a, an orange one, I believe. I forget what the flavor was, but it was three grams of carbs. And to me, that extra gram of carbs makes a difference. Uh, two is a little bit high for me to begin with and it has one gram of added sugars because they claim on their package here that it's uh, made with 100% real fruit. But you look at the back, at the nutrition facts, it's 4% juice. So it's 96% not juice. And 100% of that 4% is real. So whatever, just the, the, they always play around with these numbers. But I tasted this straight up warm, actually, because they didn't sell it cold at the Re Bourbon Street I went to. And I, I didn't really like the taste. It was kind of... Um, like sourish. I'll try it again, uh, a cold one, and, and, and see how it is. But it was a little bit sourish and it didn't have much, you know, punch when it came to flavor. But we water our our drinks down quite significantly. 50/50 um, with a non-alcoholic seltzer. I'll go into it again, and I put a, a scoop of uh, powdered organic ginger powder in and a squirt of lemon juice. Usually, hmm. Man, it's refreshing. Cold drinks are refreshing. But, you know, while I didn't really fall in love with it, I don't think I've fallen in love with any um, seltzer. I just like the effects it gives on us and the, the fact that it's uh, a minimal hangover. The hangovers aren't nearly as bad as a beer or a hard liquor or even a wine hangover if you, if you have too much to drink. But... I mean, I don't really know. I think I'm going to keep this in rotation. I don't know if they give them. It's 10 bucks a six pack. Oh, one thing that's really important and that I love. This is, this is a huge factor for me. I love that it's a standard size 
soda can or a Budweiser can. It's not that stupid thin, I don't think I have an example here, but those thin cans, I hate the thin cans. I don't know if they market them towards women or, or shelf space. I have no idea why they make these thin cans, but I hate them. You can see a previous vlog of mine where I talked about things that suck and those thin cans suck because they topple over. These ordinary old school 12 ounce cans are a big plus for H2 Roads. So thank you to Two Roads um, Brewery and H2 Roads Seltzer for making it into a normal can. God, thank you very much. But um, I'm going to keep this in rotation. If I can find it at an, an, another store for cheaper, I might be able to get ShopRite to carry it. ShopRite Liquors in uh, Clinton is one place I like to go because they have better prices overall than most liquor stores. Um, if they can start carrying this in maybe eight bucks a six pack or you know 14 for a case, I would be thrilled. Um, and I will keep it in rotation. Um, maybe just for the fact that it's a nice can. I, I just, oh, I love them, regular old cans. But that's it, it I think it's a good uh, little um, uh, introduction to for this brand. It's four and a half percent alcohol. I should have mentioned it's four and a half percent alcohol. There are some, I, I did the Svedka last week and that was six percent and that was like high octane seltzer. And uh, I, I didn't really like the outcome. I don't think I'm gonna, I said I was gonna keep it as a backup, only as a backup. I'll probably rarely buy it. Again, excuse me, I'm belching here. What's up with that? Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to keep these guys in rotation. I'm going to work my magic to see if I can get uh, some stores to carry it cheaper. So that's that. I, th I welcome H2 Roads to the uh, seltzer market and I wish them luck and I hope they stay around because it's something I like. But keep in mind, the things I like mo a lot of times just go away. So th this this is, oh, by the way, it just came out in August this month and they, pa they print the production date on the package here. This was um, packaged on August 1st of 2019 at 12.52 p.m. Maybe I'll play that number in the pick uh, four one of these days. So that's it. Have a good weekend. I think I published this on Friday. Yeah, have a good weekend.